Okay, this is a view from the top of the truck. At this point, we're starting to put the flex in the very top rail frame. We're going to start working from left to right. Just slowly working our way down, putting the bead in the track. Okay, as simple as just taking the flex with the bead, folding it over, and now stick it in the track. Okay, now you got the flex in, maybe do a once over and make sure you have all the flex in it. There's none sticking out so that once you start tensioning, it won't roll the top piece of flex out of the frame. Okay, now we got the whole flex secured in the top track. Be sure and leave at least an inch to an inch and a half on the left side, the starting side. This is going to allow it to go in the side tracks. And if you need to adjust it or need more, just grab the flex and pull it either left or right. It'll, it'll easily slide in the top. Okay, now we're ready to put the uh, flex on the left side in the left adjustable track. Do the same, just kind of grab the edge of the flex where the bead is and pinch it and stick the beaded part inside the track rail. Just slowly work your way down. Make sure you have it all in the track. Now we're going to move to our right side. You can see the adjustable track, the outer part. Do the same, just fold the bead, put it in the track, working from top to bottom. Slowly work your way down, making sure the bead's in the track. And now that we've got the left and right in, we're going to uh, just snug up the flex. We don't want to tension it down. We just want to snug it where it won't roll out or fall out. And we don't want to tighten it down until we get the bottom section in. At this point, your drill clutch should be set on one. That just allows for no over-torquing. Work your way down the screws. You can see that she's taking her uh, right hand and holding, barely touching the nut on the inside of the flex, allowing it not to slip, and then until it falls into the groove that the square-headed nut sits in, and it will hold itself. Uh, be sure not to press real hard on the end of the threaded bolt, because it could wear a hole in the flex. Okay, now we're ready to put the bottom section of the flex into the bottom adjustable frame of the system. Uh, it's doing the same. 
same as we did on the top and left and right just grabbing the bead rolling it folding it and pushing the bead apart up into the track this is a side view of the uh, adjustable track where this is the beaded beaded part of the flex going in it should just it should sit in there and just there hold itself and do it once over just go down make sure it's all the way in no no part of the flex has been left out and it's holding good you're gonna go back you can either start at either end left or right uh, on the bigger trucks or bigger billboards you'll start in the center and work your start torquing your screws you start in the center work your way out in this particular case on this truck it's only a 16 footer we're going to start at the left and work our way down still leaving our drill on setting on number one, one. Now we're going to go back all the way around and adjust all the screws, setting our drill on a number three. We want to tighten from the, the whole bottom roll first before you do your sides again to pull any puckers or waves out of the top of the billboard. Ideally, your adjustable piece should not come out any further than your base piece. This allowed it to be an invisible frame. So when you're looking at it straight on, you can only see this part of the graphic and no frame. Same thing on the bottom. It should pull down enough past the frame that it hides, ideally. Places where you have a uh, joint or two pieces of frame meeting, you want to just adjust those accordingly to either loosen the other one or tighten the, the opposite one to make the joint kind of come out smooth. <laughs> 